Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. As you guys can see, we have some new buzzer beater packs a diamond Stefan Marbury. Love to see how that compares to the pink diamond. A pink diamond Yi Jian Liang. A galaxy opal Peja Stojakovic. And a galaxy opal Dikembe Matumbo. I'm actually super excited for this Yi, so probably gonna see a gameplay for that later. And, uh, yeah, let's hop into the stats of these cards. I know a little bit weren't excited, but could be nice. Uh, Stefan Marbury, a six foot three point guard shooting guard, has a 90 mid range, 88 three point shot, and 89 free throw, a 95 driving late, 85 driving and dunk. Definitely not bad. A 80, 96 ball handle, sorry, with a good playmaking, 95 speed, 95 speed with ball, and a 95 acceleration, 88 stamina, 90 steel, 90 perimeter defense, a 94 lateral quickness. Definitely not bad. I mean, they cover all the points that you need as a PG. He's fast. He's got some good defense. He's got good playmaking. He can shoot well. And the driving, well, the inside scoring in general is pretty good. Minus the post game for his badges. Has 20 of them. Hall of Fame has a silver one, which is interesting. But the Hall of Fame badges, um, Agabet, Relist Finisher, Tear Dropper, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Forward, Fast Break Finisher, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Slitter Finisher, Difficult Shots, Tyler Shooter, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Grim Machine, Volume Shooter, Ankle Baker, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, and Tight Handles. Also have some nice gold badges, like 29 of them gold, including gold clamps. That's not the greatest, but definitely not bad. Four general needles that are unpluckable, not definitely not a bad card. And also has quick driving center with MD Rose animations. It is gonna be a pretty decent card at Diamond. I definitely think that the pink diamond is a little bit better. We can compare after the at the end of this video just to kind of see. But uh, yeah, definitely not bad. Uh, next we have Pink Diamond Yi Jian Liang. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize, but I think I'm at least close. Um, he's a seven foot power forward, small forward. Oh, usually he's a seven foot power forward. Well, I guess he's usually just a power forward, so he's more main, main for like power forward and center. But him being a small forward is actually kind of disgusting. As a 92 mid range, 94 three point shot, an 89 driving lay, 85 sandy dunk, 85 driving dunk, an 84 post hook, 92 post fadeaway, 86 ball handle with good play making, so he can speed boost because he's got a 90 speed. As an 84 speed ball, 90 acceleration, a 95 stamina, 89 offensive, 92 defensive rebounding, a 78 steal, 85 interior, 85 perimeter, 87 block, and 87 lateral quickness. We're definitely gonna see some uh, gameplays with his layer. Uh, his 32 Hall of Fame badger, which is crazy. Uh, rentless finisher, putback boss, lob city finisher, consistent finisher, contact finisher, fancy forward, fast break finisher, pro touch, corner special, difficult drive, terrible shooter, pick a popper, catch and shoot, dead eye, deep fades, green machine, hot zone, hunter, quick draw, main center, volume shooter, flexible release, post big technician, downhill, quick first step, tight handles, unpluckable, rim protector, intimidator, pogo stick, chase, rebound chaser, touch defender, and trapper. Also has gold clamps as well. Handles for days and needles that are both with off tight handles. I think the Yi Jian Liang is going to be a beast of a card, all depending on animations. If he's got a good jump shot and some good dribbling animations, he's going to be a beast. I mean, he's a 7 foot speed boosting, small forward, power forward. It's going to be cheesy. Uh, next, we have Galaxy Will Page Stoyaki, which people really weren't that excited about because his pink diamond release was pretty bad. So, if they fix that jumper, a 6 foot 9 2 guard obviously is going to be amazing, but. We're gonna have to see, <laughs> you know, it's it's a little tough. Um, has a 98 mid range, 98 three point shot, and 98 free throw. A 90 driving layup. His dunking stats is eh, really not too great. A 90 draw foul. Has some decent post game. Uh, 88 ball handle with some good speed boosting or with some good playmaking stats. He can speed boost at 89 speed, 87 speed ball, 80 on acceleration. A 98 stamina. Some decent rebounding. Definitely not too bad. A 82 steal, 89 premier defense, a 78 block, and 89 lateral quickness. Even looking at stats, he really does not even look that impressive, for being honest. Like, ah. Um, 40 Hall of Fame badges, Acrobat, Relentless Finisher, Tear Dropper, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Cross Key Score, Fancy Forward, Pro Touch, Slurry Finisher, Corner Special, Difficult Shots, Tyler Shooter, Pick and Popper, Catch and Shoot, Clutch Shooter, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter, Ice in Veins, Pump Fake Maestro, Quick Draw, Rainy Center, Slippery Off Ball, Volume Shooter, Flexible Release, Flashy Passer, Pass Fake Maestro, Bailout, Downhill, Needle that are Quick for Step, Space Gator, Tight Handles, Unpluckable, Clamps, Off Ball, Pass, Tiles Emitter, and Trapper, which is pretty nice, has 15 gold badges. Rebound chaser doesn't really make sense because he has like 70s in his rebounding. He's got diamond handles for days, which is not bad. But again, if they don't fix his release, this card is really not going to be worth it at all. Like, there's really no point in having a super tall, you know, two guard if his main ability is to shoot and he can't shoot very well because of that jumper. So, 
We'll have to see. And then last but not least, we have the Galaxy Dikembe Mutombo, who is seven foot two, a center power forward. His mid range, I mean, his three point shot is really just like, uh, eh. wow. Dikembe, with um, a floor general boost and a shoe boost, is going to be able to speed boost, which is absolutely insane. He has a 94 mid range, a 89 driving layup, 98 standing dunk, a 95 driving dunk, 96 post hook, 92 post fadeaway, 81 ball handle. So again, with floor general and a ball control shoe, you can get him to speed boost. A 93 speed, 82 speed with ball, and a 93 acceleration, uh, 98 stamina, 98 offensive and defensive rebounding, a 99 interior, 92 steel, 97 inter perimeter defense, 99 block, and a 96 auto quickness. This kind of looks like a better version of larry sanders because he's got a good post game has a good strength and he's taller so not bad and 42 hall of fame badges acrobat runless finisher put back boss drop separate lobster finisher back down punisher consistent finisher contact finisher fancy footwork pro touch pick and roller green machine hot start hot zone hunter ice in veins pump fake maestro quick draw flexible release post pink technician downhill dream shake quick first step and every single defensive slash rebounding badge hall of fame which is actually kind of insane so I do like that. I think he's going to be obviously a defensive beast, and he should be kind of like almost as if he's a Shaq stopper. Um, I'm quickly going to switch over to um, 2K MC Central, put these two websites side to side so we can compare the uh, Stefan Marbury, see how good the diamond is to the pink diamond, just to see what kind of uh, differences we have. So uh, I'll see you guys right there. All right, so here we are with them. Apparently, the new buzzer beaters isn't any age but obviously those stats are going to be the same so the pink diamond has three more hall of fame badges they both have a silver badge which is interesting um shooting stats it looks like are all exactly the same has a worse the diamond has a worse driving dunk a worse draw foul has a little bit worse in its playmaking stats has four worse in steel five worse in defensive consistency and yeah that's really not too bad if we're being honest. If we look up the normal Stefan Marbury, let's see, he is right here. He has 20 Hall of Fame badges, and the um, diamond looks like it has, uh, we just read it, but I'm already forgetting. It's taken a little bit to load over to it. Okay. <laughs> That is um, wonderful, love that. I just wanted to go back to him, there we go. He also has 20 Hall of Fame badges. So honestly, if we're being honest, there really is not a point to grinding up the you know, spotlights to get the Fang Diamond. So kinda sucks, because the Diamond is just as good. Um, same thing I feel like with Dwayne Wade, but so far we actually got some pretty decent cards. I think the Kembe Mutombo could be pretty interesting. Peja Stojakovic, again, if they fix his release, could be amazing, if not, He's a disappointment. Ye is absolutely insane. His price might be super high because I don't think these are going to be very hyped packs. And Stefan Marbury, definitely not a bad card either. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about these cards down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like this video if you guys did enjoy or found it informative. Subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 5.7k. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I will see y'all in the